Hey guys, so you've joined us here at the launch of the two latest additions to the Mercedes-Benz SUV range, the GLC 300 Coupe and the GLE 450. That's uh, Matthew Tong from Bolton doing these things, so let's go and leave him alone. And we'll do, go check out this car. So the GLC 300 is the latest edition, uh, at the smallest edition actually, of uh, today's update. And uh, so it adds the GLC 300 Coupe to the range. Now this car uses a 2-litre turbocharged four-cylinder up front with 200 and uh 40 something odd horsepower and 450 feet of torque sent to all four wheels via an eight-speed automatic gearbox so now if we step inside you'll see the very latest uh mercedes-benz interior design so you've got the usual panels here you've got uh mercedes-benz very keen to point out this car has a 64 way adjustable ambient lighting system uh you've also got the twin dials here uh no additional display but you've got twin dials and the screen in the middle as well as uh, the infotainment system in the middle. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, this is not MBUX. This is an older command system, but uh, the command system is actually not so bad, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, I think I'd perfectly, I'd live with this quite easily, and at least the car will not interrupt you by saying, hey, the same is in the time. So, if we move to the back. Now, this car is based on the GLC, which means that there isn't actually that much room in the back. There you are, some seats, some leg room. Now, the front seats are actually uh, set up in my driving position so you can see the amount of legroom that you have. You do have a separate climate control vent in the back as well as climate controls themselves. So this car is three zone climate control. Now we come to the boot. So despite the fact that this car has a coupe roof line, as you can see with the uh, dramatically dropping roof line, this car is still relatively practical at the rear, which you can access by doing this. And there you have it. So that's the boot space. Lighting is really excellent. So that's the boot space. You've got a decent amount of room. It's less than the standard GLC, but it's not that bad. And of course, you have a tonneau cover, which means that it's pretty easy for you to hide all of the shit that you've got in the back. Oh crap, I wasn't supposed to curse. Anyway, so this car is... Hang on, wrong button. It's, uh, one of these things, uh, that one. So, this is now here. It's fully CKV now, so it's built in Pakan Pahang. Uh, and this car retails for 399,000 ringgit before on-road costs, which means that, uh, according to Mercedes-Benz, this car represents excellent value. Uh, I'll leave that up to you to interpret if you'd like. Uh, but I'll admit that this is a car that will be very, very popular because people like this body style for some bizarre reason. Uh, and now you can check this out at Mercedes-Benz showrooms, or this weekend you can check it out at the Hungry for Adventure Festival being held at the Central Depot in Central West here in Kuala Lumpur. You can test drive these cars and participate in lots of really, really fun activities. Okay guys, that's all for the GLC 300 Coupe. We'll catch you in the next video.